Hey guys, what's going on? Nosy Junior bringing you back a brand new Team of the Week player review and this week we're reviewing Lukaku from Everton and just going to go through a couple of his stats at the minute and it's ball control at 82, dribbling at 81, finishing 88, penalties 84 and a shot power at an amazing 94 guys. He's got a four star weak foot and unfortunately he's only got a three star uh, skills. Um, his strength is an outstanding 92 guys and this is basically what I'm going to be talking to you a bit about. His strength is absolutely fucking unreal guys. I thought Fellaini was a boss but fuck me Lukaku is absolutely brilliant guys. For a striker... Uh, I'm I'm a, I'm a bit unsure. I didn't chance to play him in the centre forward position, but if I to keep hold of him, I would change his formation. He's uh, yeah, his um, position to a CF because I don't quite feel he plays as well up front as a few of his shots are seem to be weak and off target a lot. He's not an every game strike. If you get what I mean, he's. His shot power is awesome, but I think how he plays is just not that good. But as you can see with a couple of these goals going in, his finesse shot is absolutely fucking immense, guys. He sets a lot of goals up in this video as well, so that's why I really think I should have changed into a CF position. Or maybe a cam, I do not know. But if you're to pick him up, guys, he's going for approximately around about 70 summit k now. I did pick him up when he was 88k, so I still got him on the cheap because when he did first come out, he was on the 200k mark. So, I wouldn't have spent 200k on him. So guys, I recommend you if you can pick him up for about the 50-60k mark. I think that would be kind of a bargain. And I definitely, if I were you, I'd definitely put him in that uh, CF or a cam position because I think he'd boss it in there. But... For an all-round striker, I don't think he's kind of that good. Um, his tackles are amazing. Like I said, his strength is just out of this world. He's probably one of the strongest players I've played with to date on FIFA 14. Absolutely really enjoy playing with his strength. But like I said, his shot, it's not that good, guys. It's He's got a finish of an 88, and it just doesn't feel like an 88. It feels more like in the 70s, so... Pick him up if you can, or pick his original card up, because I played with his original card. They played just around about the same. But as you can see there, guys, an absolutely fucking brilliant finesse shot on outside of the foot. Just absolutely amazing, his finesse. It's just out of this world. But, like I said, his normal shot um, isn't up to scratch for my personal opinion. So, go pick his original card up, guys. It's only going for a few K. Test it out if you really do enjoy playing with him. Why not go pick his inform up, see what you could do with it, and see what team you could build around him. Maybe if I had Ben Teke up front with him as well, that could have gone down well. I'm not too sure I didn't have the chance to do that. But I hope you enjoyed this play review, guys. Um, I'm going to give him an overall rating of about 7.5. A couple of factors letting him down, like his skills, his shot, and... That shot there, it just, it just feels like I've just been talking shit this whole video, but it's not all about that, guys. That was just one lucky goal. Appreciate you watching, as always, guys. Until next time, until next week, we'll do another player review. See you later, mate.